beautiful people. It is Sherry Moulton back with another video. I hope you guys enjoyed Halloween week. I had so much fun and I went to Michael's to buy more of those pumpkins. Can't get them. They're all gone. So I am glad that some of you got them because I would have bought them out because I think <laughs> the gold one was my favorite. I think it turned out awesome but I will still be doing another video for you guys it'll have to do with pumpkins and it is going to be um, a bonus Halloween video today's video I had mentioned when I wasn't feeling good um, my name is Sherry and I am an addict on oh, this one my name is Sherry I'm an addict um, I was still purchasing things um, I had done two Timu hauls because I was under contract to do them. There was a reason why that was all that was done because I had to do them. It was hilarious. I lost so many subscribers over that. It is what it is. If you don't want to watch a haul video, whether it is sponsored or not, don't watch it, skip it, and then please don't unsubscribe. Just watch another video when I bring one out. Um, those ones were sponsored and to me, that pays for a lot of the stuff that I purchased today because I get paid for some of those things um, and the products that I get are free. So there's a reason why I do a sponsored video. So this one though is all purchased by me. <laughs> I push the buy button. <laughs> um, so part of it is a um, all the molds from Timu in my hauls I didn't get a link that showed all these amazing molds. So I had purchased these all on my own. I tried to go through to find pricing, but if they're discount, some of them were discontinued. Some of them have been um, out of stock. So when I go to hit to see how much they were, they're not telling me how much. So with what I have here, I'm not going to tell you prices as I go through it. Like I did my Timu haul. I am just going to show you what I have. I will link everything in the description box if they're available, okay? Because like I said, these have been purchased even back in April. I have some of them, um, I've done some Amazon things as well. So I'll show all of it, get it all out in the open so I can start using them because I'm excited because some of them are kind of cool. So with that being said, grab a coffee, grab a tea, get something to munch on. Might be a little longer video. And again, if you do not want to watch it, skip it because we're going to have some more crafting videos so to start off with this little bit is all timu and they're all molds this one i purchased do you see how there's two little holes i've purchased this way back i bought the first one off of amazon and then after i discovered timu the mold was a third if not less than half the price on timu with free shipping, I have free shipping because I have Prime. But so anyway, so I purchased three, two more. So I have three of these molds because I have a project that I want to do. It is making a lampshade. So with that being said, it's coming. So please, but I wanted to get this all out so I could play. So yeah, so I bought three of these. So that's kind of cool. So you just kind of loop them together. You can make things. You could do a keychain with a key thing and dangles all kinds of things one number two i have not done a um clock on my channel i'm excited to do a clock so they had these molds this is a i think this one is a 12 inch clock it was relatively cheap i think it was 13 dollars. and that one i think was roughly six bucks maybe a little cheaper so this is kind of cool. It has the little knobs. So when you unmold, you've got holes here to show all of your times. So that is cool. And I'm going to set it over here because I just about fell off my chair. <laughs> I'm going to set it over here because there's something else I want to show you with that. And again, this is a 14 inch mold and it is cool. I have stuff all in it. I'm going to clean it all out because I wanted to organize my stuff down here because I'm off work for a little bit. So I thought it would be awesome to get everything organized so that I'm not overwhelmed when I come downstairs. Exciting. All right. So with that, 
This was an accidental purchase. I have no idea how I bought it. Don't even know what it really is. I think you put a picture in here. I have no clue. It is what it is. It's a half a moon. And it actually has, I don't know if you can see it through the, it's actually patterned like a moon. So anyways, <laughs> I have no idea what that is about. This one is awesome. I thought these would be awesome for craft shows. Little bits of resin that you got left over. It is basically a Tetris game. So these are all the parts and this is the, what you would put it in to make it like a puzzle. So that is actually quite cool. I just have to remember to put them together. That one is kind of cool. Now this one, if you remember back way back when I did mermaids in a bag, my girlfriend bought me the fish bags. Well, they have the fish. It's like a necklace. Oh my goodness, it is so adorable. So we could put stuff in there. You could have put, I could have used it for Halloween. Could have put like the, some of those glow and dark bones in there. Awesome. Some spiders. And yes, I know they're flies, but I kept saying spiders. <laughs> I got two. And again, these were either a dollar or under a dollar. Very, very reasonable. A button mold to actually make buttons. I purchased a chocolate mold to do buttons, but these little nibs weren't big enough because they would have been covered. But these ones are actually quite, like they're right out of the mold. You'll, you're not gonna, unless you're really over pour, you're not gonna get no holes. So that one is actually cool. I have to make some glitter-fied buttons. And these ones are so cute. I, I, I can't believe I haven't played with them even though I haven't showed you. They are balloon dogs. I actually had to wait for these to come, come back in stock. And when I did, I bought four. Because again, these are cute to have sitting around. A little bit of extra resin. These will not take much. You could probably even UV these ones. And it is a slit in it. So don't get worried when you see there is like a little hole. Like it's not fully formed. So make sure it's kind of closed when you do it. Awesome. Again, I think these were two something. They might have been three, but I thought they were so cute I had to buy them. And again, <laughs> it went bing, bing. Again, you could use the, these would be awesome for craft sales. I bought this little, I, and again, you really have to look at your sizing, guys. I bought this thinking it was big. <laughs> it's a little rose ball. And I don't know if you can see all of the little roses on there well, maybe on the inside to see a little better but those are adorable just little wee balls you can have them sitting around just decorative little things and again I'm gonna say this was maybe a dollar or two I wouldn't have bought it if it was much more this one I went to do and it is either sold out or discontinued it is a tea light I big ball tea light so I'm excited to try that. And I bought some more of my hearts. These roses that are hearts. And I'm pretty sure they're both roses. Yeah. And again, I did my uh, Mother's Day bouquet. So I'll link that video because that one's a pretty one actually. I used teacups and these were flowers that were in the teacup. Um, and I bought these little, because I bought, Laura had gifted me some of the Aquacast, sitting right here, I'd look, Aquacast. So I thought these would be kind of cool to make these, these are little um, trinket boxes, would be kind of cool. This one has a, like a lotus, pretty sure these go together, but I'm not sure. I may have a dish around without a lid, but might be just like a little um it's like a lotus flower it could be a tea light but we're gonna put this little lid with it because i have nothing else that it goes with <laughs> i'm hoping that they go together and then there's this one I'm pretty pretty sweet i'm on a fold-up chair so i keep leaning forward onto the first two legs and that ain't good and then this one's cool this one reminds me of like a little genie bottle it's got the diamond pattern in it very cool 
Again, all these little things would be awesome for sales. And then this one, this one's adorable. This one is, I don't know if you can see it. It is a head. You put a plant in here, okay? And it's a mold. It's a planter and she's doing, I think she's doing this with it. That is adorable. This one might've been a little more pricier, but I had to have it. It was cute. I thought it was cute. Now this one I bought, it is a three piece set. It comes, it's like a dressing set or maybe a desk. Um, it comes with a tray, a vase, um, a pencil holder and a little container with a lid. So this is the tray. It's a nice size. And it's considerably, it's a little deeper. So I thought I might make this for my daughter. She works from home, so this would be cute. This is the little vase. And it's kind of like a diamond pattern. Very cool. This is the pencil holder. And it's like that octagon shape. And this is the little dish. So it's kind of got the same idea. It's all patterned like the octagon, just flat angles. So the, those would be awesome. So that is cool. And then we got into, I'll do this so I can get the mold out of the way. So when I bought this, Timu has these. These are metal. Um, let me see what I can, or I'll put it on this so you can see it, where, where I was going with it. It might not fit in here, but there were other ones that I purchased. But anyway, it is a metal turtle. I thought they would be awesome. So I'm going to move that other way. This would be awesome to embed into a, well, here, let's put it on the back of the paper it came on. Oh my goodness, Sherry. It would be awesome to go in. Yeah, it looks like it's going this way. Do like a beach pour on a nice board and you can put that on it. You could embed it in clear, like, like I put a clear resin and just enough to put it on the board. And then you could actually put um, like turquoise shells in here and then put colored stuff. So that is awesome. So I might as well keep with the theme. I got a couple of them thinking that I would do stuff like in a tray. I don't know this one might even fit in that tray that I got there's this one not quite deep enough but you know what I mean like that is gorgeous you could do like a a sunset picture like on the back painting actually that does well the tray angles out so you could put that in the tray so that's kind of cool so that one is pretty it is um These are metal art. And then I have one more. And this is the one that fits inside that. That's where it was. This one is a bird. Like, wouldn't that be adorable in the clock? It's a bird. The heart would go there and it goes in between. You could even cut it off where those holes are. It's meant to go out on a tree but adorable. You could put that in, oh, it would fit in that tray. <sighs> Maybe not, <laughs> but you could put it in anything and color the birds with resin. It, the stuff is just endless guys. And I know people, some people are on, still on the fence about the Timu, but this day and age, you got to save money. And I find, yes, um, there's Amazon, but you know what? All the stuff comes, everyone's thing is, it comes from China as well. So I just like them. I, it is what it is. You choose what you want. I have um, bought some, this is iridescent film. Boop -a -doo. Iridescent film. I've been dying for a long time, not dying, but we all <laughs> were born to die, put it that way. I have been um, wanting to try, um, doing a beach pour on top of 
some filament of some form because I think that would be awesome because it would be almost holographic in behind. So that's why I, that was in my brain where I got that from. Now, the next one is um, useful. I thought I'd put my 99% alcohol and all you do is put it in and you go beep, beep, and it goes on your papers. So I thought that was cool. Um, these I bought to put inside of the, um, the fish bags that my girlfriend bought me. So I'm going to grab one out. They're balloons and they come with a little plastic handle that holds them straight up and they're bendable. So let me just, so they came in the cloud. They came in a balloon shape and they came in different colors. So this one is the regular balloon. And is that not adorable? Like you can, you can shape it. Here, let's put it on something that's a little different color. You can shape it. Cause this is um, wire in there. So this one is the balloon and it comes in um, green, yellow, red, pink. Green, yellow, red, pink, and orange. Green, yellow, red, pink, and blue, not orange. And then it comes all the same, different colors. It comes like this, you can bend it right around, right? Or you can make it straight. So these are ideal to put in resin because you don't have to worry about suspending them. And then this one is the cloud shape, adorable. And then this one is the heart. So I thought it'd be cute to have like a bouquet of flowers and have in the resin. And this is the heart. Oops, my goodness. There we go. Very cool and bubbly. They're the bubbles. They're, they're three dimensional shaped. Very awesome. So I enjoyed getting, I thought those would be cute. And that was in my head was doing the <coughs> resin bags again. Now this one I bought with in mind, the same idea as the um, other metal things I bought. I thought it was flat. This is how it is three dimensional. I purchased this thinking I would put it in a tray or on something, but it's actually, it's all, it's yard. It was in the yard section. So I thought this would be cool for the trailer. So it screws on there. And that is what it is. It's got little spots. I thought I would put a little crystal in each one of those. Maybe spray paint it black first because I wouldn't want it to rust. And then it comes with this little doohickey. And so you can either attach it to something and it could spin around. But I thought it was cute. I initially, like I said, I thought this was flat. I initially thought it would be awesome in an art piece, but it looks like it's going to the trailer. So that is adorable. This I bought, it is a stencil of a peacock. I thought it would be awesome to do some three dimensional stuff with that. And um, let's get in. We got a couple of beads, we're almost to the end, not that long. So these were pearls on a string and it is on um, like fishing wire and they're various sized pearls. Let me get this cardboard again. Various sized pearls. You see, you get the big ones, little ones. That would be awesome. And it came, I got white. And me being me, I got this beautiful blue as well. So I thought that would be awesome. You could even put it in resin and it would look neat, I think, as well. So this, I did a, um, if you remember my video with the peacock feathers, this is a mermaid. Oh my goodness. So I thought it would be adorable on, and it came in different colors, but I just got the white because I thought it would be cute to do a beach pour of some color and then put this on it and then resin her in it 
So I thought that was pretty cool sequence. Anything glittery is beautiful, right? Now I have bumblebees that I use in some of my resin pieces. And actually they had these adorable little bumblebees with the crystals and you don't have to cut off the little nibs. And again, they, I said, I wouldn't have bought these if they were very expensive. So I'm going to have to really take a peek, go through all my list of stuff that I purchased and hopefully I can give you guys most of them, but I know a few of them are discontinued or not in stock. And they don't give you prices when they're not in stock. So I'm going to do a couple more little things here. We have these little mini fish. Like, I mean mini. Um, I'm going to bring it down just to show you. Like, when I say mini, I mean, look at how small they are. Aren't they not cute? And they came in a package of five. And I, oh, that's the small version. And then there's, I think they had three sizes. And then this is the second size. Like you could even put those in that little, oh my goodness gracious. And this little thing, put a couple of those little fish. Oh my goodness. And you could put some, oh, you could put some little um, plants at the bottom and have the fish. To, oh, it's endless guys. If only I had all the time to make all the things that are in my crazy little brain would be awesome. Okay, I'm gonna leave you down for a minute because we got a couple things here. Um, the next bit of stuff I had purchased thinking of nail art. And some of these I got off of Amazon, but I'm gonna show you all the stuff I got off of Timu first. And the rest will be all from Amazon. These are awesome. They are crystals. Can you see? They are beautiful and they're different sizes. I'm going to open them. Hopefully I don't spill them all out. This side is all of squares, different sizing. Well, I'm hoping you can see it. Okay. And then the other side are the rectangle shaped. I can't, I should, I should know what size. Oh, and they do. Oh, it says one, two, three, four. I thought they were telling you what sizes. And then there's these ones. Are they not gorgeous? They'd be beautiful in, um, I was thinking on doing polymer clay. I had all this stuff in my head, all to plan my summer so that I could do all of these things at the trailer and nothing planned out for me. And this again, I sorry, I did open most of everything except for this one. This is another kit with um, just loose crystals. Just loose crystals, different sizes. And it come with, um, I don't know why it came with a pencil. And it came with a pair of tweezers. You can always use a good pair of tweezers. I tell you. Now this I purchased because with the UV resin to me in my brain, I didn't see any difference between UV nail polish, right? So I've been watching a few videos and, you know, getting some ideas. And when I do do things, I will give people credit if I've watched. So I bought this nail kit. So it came with um, the stylus tools. There is five of those and each one has two different and of course they're all blinged out so they're all blingy if you can see that i'm hoping you can see that i'm sorry guys they're all blingy so and in each side one is a little smaller and the other one is bigger the little balls on the ends these you could also use as dotting tools um the amazing laura was doing some um of those Mandela dottings, because you can use that for that as well. And then these, um, I thought with their mark, their pen, their uh, paintbrushes. Oh my goodness, Sherry, sorry. Their paintbrushes. And with some of the resin, when you do the UVs, you want 
everything to go right to the edges of your um, containers that you're putting them in or your little um, insert things. So these, and when I get my nails done, they use nail brushes. So I purchased them, like it all came in one kit. So these came in the kit. So there's five of actual brushes and then there's three liners to do very delicate work. And then it came with these double-ended ones, which is pretty cool. There's three of them. And then it came with a whole other set of, <laughs> of really fine liners. Um, there's a fan brush. There's all kinds, because you can do so many neat applications. So this came in a big kit. It is called the Nail Art Brush Set Professional Nail Tools. And when you do the UV resin, all you got to do is brush off your, like, make sure your brush is wiped off and do not put it in the sunlight or, you know, make sure it's in a dark spot and that way you're not um, having a cure in your brush. So that came from Timu, which is cool. This came from Amazon. Those last things came, okay, so these I purchased are stickers for nail art. I thought they'd be awesome in, like, jewelry pieces. These ones are all sunflowers. And this one is just different flowers. Let me just look. Different flowers. And there's some birds, feathers. Just all kinds of little wee things that you can embed in the resin. Which is kind of cool. And then these are awesome. These ones are ocean inspired three-dimensional very cool this one almost looks like Dutch like a geode pour, pour with the embedded with the gold and that awesome this one is another C and it actually if you look here it actually has here let me open this one up because this one's not kind of cool it actually has ocean waves so if you're looking to do because I've done some ocean necklaces and to do the waves, it's kind of hard to do a wave in the... So I'm going to put this on... I guess you could see it on the white. But you see that? It's an ocean wave. With the bubbles in the water. And then there's clear one. There's those ones. And then there's those ones on the top. That is awesome. And then this is another one that looks like geodes. And this one is like a teal colors and then these are legit water you can put these on your nails you could put these actually in coasters because I find with coasters you don't want to blow around too much with your heat gun to make the waves oh my goodness Sherry like look at that is that not cool you could use those in coasters to make beach coasters instead of so they came in one pack. So I ended up, I got two of these, two of these ones. And then there's another one. This one is, these are kind of glow in the dark. These ones are moons and clouds. And then this one, I'm going to open this one up because this one actually would be cool to make like a, a moon pendant. Oh my goodness, my fingers, I tell you guys, I'm going to see the surgeon again. My hands are horrible. All right, here we go. Let's get this in here. Like, let me find, here, I'll do it on my, hopefully no one phones me. But look at that. The different, like the, the half moons, the, amazing. I thought that would be cool. So I got two of those, or did I get three? Sherry, Sherry. I got three. And then this one, these are actually like the um, the flower blooms that we're all doing in our resin, but in sticker form. Like, is that not cool? Like you could do, oh my God. sorry, hopefully my nails aren't making you not see that. Is that not cool? So I got one of those. And then I got this one. It is, these are all nail art. So that was what my mission was. <laughs> I 
the whole summer I would be doing some nail art at the trailer, but it didn't work out for me, as I just said earlier. Sorry, I'm repeating myself. But these are foils. Are they not awesome? Like you could do some dangle earrings with these little ones. Um, pretty sure there's there's a couple that are together, two together. So that is cool. So that's what I had in my head with summer was to do some of that. And then they had these, these are doors, windows, windows, and they're cutouts. Like, are they not cool here? I'm just gonna, um, let me find here. I'll just do it on my phone again. These are window cutouts that you can use <laughs> as they fall off. Um, they're paper like, is that not cool? Like you could do a painting and you could put these in your paintings or resin. They're just all these different ones. I watch a couple chateau things from um, France. This sort of, this reminds me like, look at that adorable. Like these are for scrapbooking, obviously. Like even like the cathedral windows in a church. You could stained glass, you could, that would be cool. You could, um, yeah, you could actually make stained glass out of those. We'll have to figure something out with that. I don't wanna play with them too much because I don't wanna rip them because they're very delicate. So that is kind of cool. And then these ones are from Amazon. So I will link these. In my head was, I wanna do color. And at the time, I didn't realize that um, Let's Resin has um, colored UV resin. I now have it since then, but I bought these. This is a nail art kit. Um, there's 42 colors in this one. And I thought you could do your pieces and you could, you know, comes with all these beautiful colors. Like I'll just show you the tips because that's what basically, and these ones aren't huge. But again, when you are putting them on, like they're not a, a very big bottle, but when you're putting them on just a, a, a piece of jewelry, you don't need a huge color. So these ones are base coats. They have a top coat. They've got a matte coat. And then these are glitters. And then these are all just colors. Like that is crazy. So that's what I was, like I said, I had a whole thing planned. And then, me being me, like I bought this back in, I'm gonna say maybe even March. This is cat eye. Cause I thought it would be awesome. You don't see the colors until you open up, but there is 14, 16 colors of cat eye. Like this is that lovely, like look at that green. And then I bought the magnets, not just a magnet, but <laughs> this is a kit. And it came with, I don't have no idea what that is. These are all the magnets. You can make them into different shapes. Like this one will make it into lines, all of your nail polish. This one, It'll make it a heart. The magnet is shaped in a heart. This one, the magnet is shaped on a diagonal. And this one is almost like lattice work. Oh, there you go. And then this one is just a basic, this one does the cat eye. Oh, there we go. So it's kind of flat on one side in a circle on the other. And then this one, makes that kind of a shape. And I have no idea what these are. This one does a starburst kind of idea. And then these ones are, I'm gonna put them all up at the same time. A chevron. This one is another starburst. So when you buy the kit, some of them were doubled. And then this one is the lines on an angle, but these are shaped 
like your nail as where those ones are squared. So these ones are shaped like your nail. So the magnet might be easier. And then this one's cool. So if you do that dot, I'm hoping you can see it. If you do that dot, it looks like a flower. And then this one has like four little dots. And then it came, had to have come in here unless I just put it in there. I'll take a peek. Like again, these ones were from Amazon. So I'm hoping they still have them. Like again, I bought these way back, way back, way back. And these are foils I purchased thinking that they would be awesome on, I'm pretty sure it came in the nail kit. And it comes with so many colors. Like, look at this, look at this, look at this. I'm almost tempted to take my stuff I have to my hair, my nail guy. Like, look at all of that. black it's almost like a I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit more almost like a blacky purple these are just all foils amazing go quickly here now we get into the red coppers awesome so there you go guys that's my haul <laughs> that's I'm not too well to do videos, but I can still shop haul. So I hope you enjoyed today. I just like, a, you know what I mean? Just, just sitting amongst friends, showing what I bought. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Again, if you didn't like it, it is what it is, my friends. But I just wanted to show everything so I could um, start using them. Oh, I see three things here. I bought at the dollar store the other day. I thought... I'm going to put some resin in there to make those and there's the heart. You get all three for a dollar fifty. So this one had the other two little hairpins. And then this one was a butterfly. So I thought I could put resin in those to make hair clips. So with that, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope it wasn't too long because I, I should have set a timer to see how long it was. But with that, I will try my hardest to um, put all the links in the description box because I know how much people, the link is easy instead of going searching. So with that, I hope you have a great day and stay tuned because we have one more Halloween coming with some amazing pumpkins. See you next one, guys. Love you.